fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And today we're going to wind back the clock a little bit to 1991. We're going to be looking at Grunt version 3. He was released in said year. And he was only on the pegs until 1992 when he was discontinued. He was released as a part of the 10th series. Uh, his original retail price was $2.97. Uh, the grunt we're looking at is from my childhood. Uh, I had purchased him uh, the year he was released, obviously, because he wouldn't have been on the pegs the following year. If he was, I didn't see him. Uh, this one is a pretty easily forgotten figure. Not my favorite version of Grunt by any means. Uh, he doesn't look like Grunt. Uh, but to many of you, he is your first Grunt. Uh, I, I had version one of Grunt. Never had version two because I didn't get the glider. But uh, version one is my grunt, the one I grew up with. He was the face of G.I. Joe. So uh, the reason why I purchased this one, um, certainly not for his looks, but because I needed grunt. And uh, I wasn't too keen on him back then, and even to this day I'm not real keen on him. This uh, interesting color palette. I don't like the way they they uh, made him, but I'll, I'll go more into that. Uh, I'm just giving you guys my honest appraisal on this guy. Uh, I purchased this one from Kmart. Uh, 91, that was my junior year of high school. I was working at the mall as most teenagers do. I was working in a store called Coach House Gifts. I've spoken about this store uh, before on this channel. Uh, it was a, a little gift shop. It was a subsidiary or a, a co-partner with um, Hallmark. And uh, so one section of the store was all dedicated to Hallmark. We had all the Hallmark cards. We had uh, what candles, wedding accessories, cake toppers, stuff like that. And of course we had precious moments. And uh, the rest of the, the store was dedicated to the items that we sold, um, just knickknacks, things of that nature. So I used the money I made there and purchased uh, my Joes. Um, so I recall him being, yeah, it was at Kmart. So as you walk into the store, you pass by customer service, they had the snack bar still, and that was right at the front of the store. Then you'd make a left, um, heading towards the garden department, and then they had their, their toy department. And right in the main aisle, they had all their G.I. Joe. And um, that year, I was just amazed by how many Joes <laughs> they, they had, vehicles and whatnot. Uh, and I think this was the first year where they had the spring-fired rocket launchers. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature. I still think it's a cool feature. So I, I looked and looked and looked, and I settled on Grunt. And uh, got him home, opened him up, like, yay. Okay, this guy is real impressive. Him and his banana pants. Uh, just odd colors on him. So those were my childhood memories on this guy. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at the action figure. I'll pull up a picture of his card art and everything for you here real quick as well. So let's hold on one second. All right, here's Grunt, all of his magnific magnificence. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories first. 
Uh, he came with this very interesting rocket launcher. Came on a a tripod. Um, this is intended for him to hold on to the this little hand grip right here. Let me turn the light on. Trying to get the light on here. There we go. It's a little hand grip right here. He's intended to hold it. It also came with a figure stand, but that got lost years ago. Uh, this bipod is commonly missing. He only came with one missile, and it fits in here kind of odd. So you can see down the, the barrel, the missile goes in with the bevel this side up it locks right into place very weak spring in it and he came with this futuristic looking uh, rifle you can see it has two holes here it's intended to be stored on the top of his rocket launcher you can see there's some very nice detail on this pistol or on this rifle as well as the rocket launcher very nice detail it has some gauges and dials buttons and whatnot pretty cool now looking at grunt himself he comes with this soft green plastic helmet looks kind of like hawk's helmet uh, this is modeled after the kevlar helmet you can see some Wrinkles in here from the camouflage cover on it and the sculpted on black goggles. Now, Grunt has a black flat top and this little spit curl going down the front of his head. And this very serious look on his face like he is yelling and screaming. His brown shirt, the sleeves rolled up, it appears to be more of a jacket than a shirt. Looks like he has a black tank top on underneath, his gold dog tags, his chest is painted, flesh color. He has two badges here on his coat that are in blue, not sure what those are. He has two pockets sculpted on, and pretty plain coat in general. His pants, it's the color scheme, man. A brown shirt and yellow, a brown jacket and yellow pants. Uh, I don't think so. And then it has this kind of a pumpkin orange splashes of color on there. Some zippers on his pants here. Gold belt buckle that's starting to rub off. It's this tiny holster with a very tiny pistol on there, sculpted. Uh, Again, the belt is orange. Two back pockets, and he's wearing black combat boots. And not to mention his cargo pocket on one side there. All in all, he is not a very impressive figure. I apologize to anybody who uh, really likes this guy. Uh, that's great that you do. Uh, he needs some love. This Hasbro really didn't do him much justice. And like I said, I'm just trying to give you guys an honest appraisal of him. But one thing I do really like is the sculpted muscles on him. He would have to be pretty, pretty bulky to heft this huge rocket launcher around. Um, it's impractical that he has to hold it. But um, other than that, I mean, he, he is a lot of people's first grunt. So, you know, I, there's some credit there. So, this guy, I, I just can't get past the color scheme. If it were something different, yeah, I, I might like him more, but the colors being as they are, I mean, they could have given him 
green pants instead of yellow. I think that's what really turns me off. You know, the brown jacket with the green pants would have been fine. But other than that, um, he is an easily forget forgotten figure. Uh, you know, Hasbro was turning a new page. They needed to update some figures, I guess, and Grunt was just one of those that really didn't <laughs> didn't age well. Let's put it that way. So if you're looking for this guy on the aftermarket, he is out there. Um, and that gets me into my next segment, Byron's Gripes. For those of you just joining, thank you very much for your subscriptions. I subscri subscribe back to you. I'll let you know that I did see your subscription. Um, if your profile is not made public, I don't know if you subscribe to my channel or not because I didn't don't receive notifications that you did if if it's made not if your profile is um, kept confidential. But um, for those of you just joining, I do Byron's gripes as a way to let everybody know what the price, what to expect uh, for prices. Um, I don't do it to pick on eBay or the sellers. I just like to make fun of these outlandish prices. Uh, anything vintage is really hot right now, and it. Um, it's just getting hotter. I won't quote an auction price because those are always changing. They're going up. So his his gun, two ninety nine. Uh, they have a full card back with the bubble still attached. No action figure, but his complete accessories ten bucks. I'll put that up the deal of the day. You get a full card back and accessories. That's not bad. I uh, have a, another rifle, dollar eighty-five that was discounted by ten percent. Not bad. Uh, his rocket launcher, dollar fifty with the bipod. That's something to pay close attention to. Make sure it still has the bipod. So I'll put that up at the deal of the day. Another gun for a dollar seventy-four complete figure with his file card. $24. I'll go ahead and call that deal of the day as well because it, you know you're you're getting a file card with it and his file card is like four to six dollars from what I could remember. Um, I'm, I'm looking at it live. Uh, Another one that's incomplete. He's missing his missile, 1672. It's a little, uh, it's okay. Um, you know, for a missing missile, you know, that's, it's okay. You know, I won't call that deal of the day. Here's another one, uh, complete with his file card, 2999. That's on the high end of the spectrum, but still okay. Here's another one um, missing his helmet and missile for $19.99. Oh, here's one that's complete, $32 plus $25.18. It's coming from the UK, so you're going to expect to pay high prices. Mint on card, $74.99 or better offer. That's not bad. I'll put that with deal of the day as well, especially because it's an or better offer. But finding a vintage action figure for that cheap on a card right now, that's not bad. Uh, here's another one. Uh, just missing the missile. Uh, $13.99 or better offer. That's deal of the day. Uh, missile, $1.85. Another one. Missing the missile, but otherwise complete, $13.99 or better offer. Here's one with a full card back. Missing missile and gun, uh, $13.50. I'll put that with deal of the day as well. 
just by himself. Um, no accessories at all, 1250 or better offer. Uh, there's another one complete for 25, one with the helmet, no other accessories, 1099, not bad. His helmet, $9.74 or better offer. That's kind of high for a helmet. Um, there's another one missing the helmet and um, missile, $13.95, another missile for $3, a helmet, $4.99, his gun, another gun, $2.50, the missile launcher by, by itself with the bipod, $3.99, several missile launchers without missiles. Um, Here's one that comes complete with a file card or full card back, $24.98. Another one by himself for $9.99. Uh, here's a file card for $349. Another one for $360. But one seller's wanting $4.95 to ship. The other one's wanting $350 to ship. Let's put an envelope and put a stamp on it. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not going to pay $3.50 to have this thing shipped or mailed to me. The bipod, $2 to $2.99. Uh, another file card, $9.99. Another action figure, no accessories, 11 bucks. Here's one with an AFA grade um, of 90, which is near perfect. Uh, four four hundred ninety nine dollars ninety five cents. That is just stupid. And that is it. So he's out there. I mean, there's a few pages of him. Uh, you know, pick him up. Yeah. You know, he he's relatively cheap, as you could tell. Um, you know, certainly suggest that you do it's you know, to complete your collection uh but for me you know this guy is it's just not a winner yeah i really wish he could be because version one was fantastic and version two even better uh that's the aka tan grunt so there you have it guys there's my review i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and tap the bell that way you'll be notified every tuesday for my upcoming uh, uh for uh, when i upload a video um also check me out on twitter at um, jvideos82 i'll be happy to talk with you shoot me an email it'll be down in the description um leave a comment i answer back to those pretty promptly always love talking to you guys and don't forget that i have a giveaway when i reach 500 subscribers be giving away uh, a classified series destro the gold head destro uh, to my channel subscribers and to all the subscribers minus the um, channel supporters um, I'll give away one of these uh, Walmart exclusive snake eyes and a um, Python patrol asp complete so stay tuned for that I'm getting pretty close to 500 so I'll be doing that giveaway so anyway guys thank you very much for tuning in remember stay safe out there that new version of COVID is here in the states um, and it is pretty nasty from what i understand so very important to keep your hands washed wear your masks especially that really helps cut down on um, your chance of catching it and uh, social distance remember safety sanitizing six feet so until next week you guys stay safe take care remember always be kind to one another and especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. So until Tuesday, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 saying take care, stay safe, and we'll see you later. We're signing off. Bye-bye.